Greetings family, greetings brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos. Today is that day that we talk about the whole of Africa, not just Sub-Saharan Africa. Today we talk about Morocco. Mm. You know some years back we saw Morocco leaving the African Union. Actually the people of Morocco would say we are not Africans. They mm. say Africans, we are not Africans. Okay, they still say that in the north, that is that belt of, you know, the Arabic north. But there's been a problem in Morocco because there's a, a country called Western Sahara, which has its own president and everything else is dependent. And it looks to be an autonomous country away from Morocco. But Morocco has always wanted this country to be, you know, a part of it. Because even if even when you look at the map, we have Morocco, but Western Sahara somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it Sahrawi Republic. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you something. Morocco left the AU because AU had decided to recognize mm -hmm. Western Sahara or Sahrawi as a republic. Mm -hmm. Actually, when you at that time you would say Africa has fifty five countries. But Morocco would not hear of it and was very angry, so they decided to leave the AU. And uh, so guys in Africa decided, let us be mum about it. Mm -hmm. Let us let them just do what they want. It, let it be like Somaliland, where Somalia is still claiming Somaliland, but Somaliland wants to be, you know, but there's no war, it's come and all that. Mm -hmm. But you know, the devil just came into the details and... Uh, Maku has backed Moroccan claim on Western Sahara. So France, cons Emmanuel Maku said this eh, in a letter addressed to the King of Morocco, Mohammed VI, on the occasion of the throne day, which marks the monarch's accession to power in 1999. So he said, France considers that the present and future of Western Sahara fall within the framework of Moroccan sovereignty. He also emphasized and said that the steadfastness of the French position and Paris' intention to act in co coherence with this position both nationally and internationally, that is according to a statement from the royal office. So the French government no longer hides it by officially declaring support for the Moroccan autonomy plan. France is backing the violent and illegal occupation of Western Sahara. So later we saw Algeria recalling its ambassador from France after the European country supported Morocco's plan for Western Sahara autonomy under the kingdom under the kingdom's sovereignty. You know it's like we were sometimes ago condemning Ethiopia mm. for going through Somaliland, Somaliland mm. when they they are problems with Somalia. Mm. So what what France is trying to do is cause more chaos. Mm. Because when you when you when you're backing them, they'll now have more urge to go and reclaim Western Sahara. This mm. calls for war, this calls for more violent you know, relationship between those these two countries. And we know who supports this kind of chaos in Africa. Yeah. So but definitely, France has something to gain. If Morocco doesn't take care of themselves, this guy, maybe there's some oil that has been found in yeah. Morocco and all that, and mm. they, want, they want a piece of it. But my question is, who is France um, to come in and say, we are recognizing you, we are doing this? And, you know, that is where we start talking about the AU and how useless it is as an organization for us as Africans, because... Some of what is the mandate of the African Union if some of these issues just go and you don't even care what is happening, yeah. you don't even want to talk about it as long as the masters are happy, you leave them to do whatever they want to do with our own continent. Issues that affect our continent, like where is the AU in times like this? Actually, it reminds me of you know, Sudan, Sudan was one, but now we have South, South Sudan. Sudan. What is so difficult of the AU sitting mm -hmm. down and saying these people want to be? An autonomous country why don't you give them that as in just have an agreement with Sahrawi, Sahrawi Republic is just some small country some small area of Morocco just let them 
govern themselves. When you look at a country like Lesotho in in Southern Africa, you get Lesotho. Lesotho. It's yes. even inside South Africa. Mm -hmm. Ours is like three quarters into South Africa. But you just let them be because if that is how they feel like they can govern themselves, well, we, we talk about borderless Africa in Africa. Yeah, we talk they, about yeah, yeah. unity. But with people like France and all of these other Western countries coming in to bring more division into our continent, it becomes even more difficult because we know that our leaders are full of greed, selfishness, and they just want everything to be about themselves. So by before we even get to the point where we can get a borderless Africa, one Africa, I think we need to understand that we are as a people, yes, we are African, we are different. I come from a tribe, um, a certain tribe that is not the same to Micronation. Mm -hmm. Micronation. I come from a tribe which you like to call it a micronation that is not similar to yours. And it, it does have a lot of dif differences, but our differences should be bringing us together. Me yeah. coming into Kenya has shown me a lot, so much that we are so similar, but we are different. And in our differences, we should embrace we, our similarities. We, we have, actually, Pierre Lomomba says, mm -hmm. in our different ethnicities, mm -hmm. we have more, you know, power. Unity. Strength. Like like more strength it's because true. you find this ethnic community or mm -hmm. micronation comes with this ability it to do things. True. Like they are so good in fishing. It's very true. This other one is mm. so good in metal working. This other and one that is, is so good what in farming. Can develop Africa. Yeah. I would I would forever propagate for the idea that yes we are different. Yes we can't now say one Africa, one whatever. We must keep our languages, we must keep our cultures. We come from different um uh, micronations that yeah, have yeah. different ways of doing things as much as we want to hold each other and become one big Africa we should still recognize that Maybe. the Zulus do things differently mm -hmm. too the Kosas to the Ndebeles to the Kikuyus of Kenya we should also embrace the fact that if Kenyans do it this way how can we um, our way of doing things be helpful to the other communities such that you know, if they have a downfall I can uplift them and you know even if you when you talk about a country mm -hmm. A nation, mm -hmm. it's uh, like a mix of beans and maize and mm -hmm. millet and all mm -hmm. that. But when you talk about the nation, micro nations, for example, there's something that we as Africans don't even think about. Mm -hmm. But imagine if you come like to Kenya and you look for the Maasai people. Mm -hmm. If you want people who can, you know, grow cattle mm -hmm. and goats and, mm -hmm. you know, feed the nation like the full supply of meat. Mm -hmm. It's the Maasai, it's the Borana, yes. it's the Rendile, it's the Samburu. Mm -hmm. If we want crop farmers, people mm -hmm. who keep crops, take care of them, tender mm -hmm. them, they understand them. Mm -hmm. You have the Kikuyu, you have the Meru, you have... If you want fish, you know, go to Western. You go to Midikenda mm -hmm. in the coast or you go Western. to the Lu Nyanza. Mm -hmm. And, see, and we all need these things to survive. You also, you still need your mm -hmm. agriculture, you still need your marine, you still need, you know, then exactly. that is what can make us become great, this big great. one Africa that is bigger than and greater than yeah, everybody yeah. else. But I'm not amused by this foreigner, this uh, outsider who is coming to put fuel mm -hmm. into the fire. That is what they do best. And we can say, you know, may you be cast. <laughs> Guys, let us know what you think. I think they already section. cast. Look at how many Africans are in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not a cast. So are people going to get what they need. Yeah, it's a but cast. We are, invading. We, we yeah. saw something crazy yeah. during the opening of the Olympics. Mm, anyway, don't even talk about it. Yeah, so that's a, that's the cast. Yeah. But guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. Peace.